Hi everyone, Lutz from Gun Gamers here. I'm joined with Corey, Chris, Ian. We're here to talk about the GGAR, the Gun Gamers Adaptable Rig made by Engage Tactical, or Bestest Buddy. Before we do that, what are you drinking tonight, Matt? Oh, uh, Corey, what is this called again? That's uh, Amagang King of the North. King of the North. It is Game an of, Imperial Stout. Game of Thrones inspired. Yep. Mm -hmm. Licensed, actually, by oh, HBO. Shit. Wow. Okay. It's a serious yeah. beverage. I'm back in with some more Double Dew. Oh. And Jet, what are you drinking? No? Okay. All right. So, <laughs> we're going to go over some of the different features that uh, are on the different G-Gars. Um, kind of give you a background on it to start, I guess, though. Uh, so, Corey actually came up with this uh, originally. What was that? Yeah, about that nine was, months ago? That was about, uh, yeah, just about. Um, actually, right after Caspian Breakout, Milson West, everyone drink. Um, I just, I went, I went to Milson West with a really bad chest rig, and I got back just thinking about what I could have done differently, and I wish I would have worn this chest rig, and then the more I thought about this chest rig, this is the Blackhawk, uh, Navy SEAL chest rig. I don't know the exact uh, nomenclature for it. Um, but that chest rig isn't perfect either. So I was thinking about that rig and um, just like what I would want. And then he let me know about Engage Tactical. So I made some sketches. He looked at it and was like, wait, 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 wait. Let's, <laughs> let's make this more adaptable. And we did. So it has a panel on the front. Um, that's basically customizable to anybody. Yeah, so you, you can completely set it up however. Uh, mm -hmm. Currently, um, the GR is actually just went on sale on Amped, um, but he only sent over a specific panel type, yeah. which is more of the type with the bungee top draw. Uh, it's like a triple M4 panel, that's what they're all coming default as. Yeah. But if you order straight from N-Gage... Um, well, they work with AK Max as well. Yes, they do. Uh, but if you order straight from him, you can customize whatever panel you want. Yeah. So you see a bunch of us have the triple M4 with open tops. Those all have Kydex from Gun Gamers Custom Work. I actually, <laughs> um, I'm using so, the, the pig break pouches. They they come from SKD Tech. They're basically an STAC Kiwi pouch that you can mount directly on something that's Velcro. And uh, it turns out they fit perfectly on the G-Gar. Um, I know that the 308 mags also work perfectly on it as well. Is that because you don't like to support small businesses? Uh, it's because I already had it. Okay. <laughs> um, so, see all those. You see that one fits and it's not even made by Engage. Uh, Corey actually had this one made. It's a quadruple um, 308 pouch, which you ended up not liking because of how deep it was. But yeah, I like, I like to lay uh, flat on my stomach a lot and 308 mags are pretty chunky. Yeah, but if you're not someone who goes prone a lot, then it, it's definitely a, a good thing to have. Yes. And it has some molly on the outside for pistol mags, so this is like when you're really rolling heavy. So if you M14 guys, that might be something for you. Um, if you're about to shoot your firepower doctrine, that's yeah. for you. Yeah. So with the adaptability and the whole point of that being able to like adjust everything, um, mm -hmm. Matt has actually made it possible to go from as few as whatever, I mean, you can go with zero mags, that'd be stupid, but really three mags, <laughs> It's kind of the minimum rifle loadout you can put on it that's reasonable. Yep. But he's also adapted it to where now he has, I think on his own, he yep. has, what, a double set on the front, Jeez. plus he has a kangaroo pouch insert, plus a single yeah, I believe that's behind cool. the radio. He can carry yeah. 10 mags on his chest rig. Yeah, it's ridiculous. So you can go from super light to super heavy. Oh, yeah. That being said, no. um, even with the original, like this is the prototype, arts are the prototype, even with this one, in the cargo pouch, you can fit up to four mags in the cargo pouch. What I do is I carry a medical kit and then two mags behind it. So I still carry five mags, which is, I, and one of the rifle, you really don't need much more than that. Yeah, if you're carrying nine mags, you're it's waiting it's, for an extended fire. Yeah, <laughs> that's a lot. If you're carrying an Odin, all you need is five mags. Exactly. exactly. And with the uh, <laughs> flat from <laughs> Engage Tactical, you can carry an Odin, probably two. Yeah, yeah probably just, too. Yeah, the, the, the gut flap is nice because it covers up all the dad bod. Mm -hmm. Or you can do what I do and just better. carry a shitload of grenades in them. Yeah. yeah. So many How many grenades do you think you can fit in the um, gut flap? I've tested it out. I don't know about the gut flap. I've put 
five in the cargo pouch. I probably fit another six or so. Um, this isn't an engaged gut flap, but if I did have it, I'd probably fit six or seven of them in there. Okay. And then you could just start slinging them like Tom Brady, except we not an asshole. Yeah, except you know everybody doesn't <laughs> fucking hate. Not a vegan. <laughs> fucking Tom Brady. He's a vegan? I think so. So what? another thing to talk about is uh, the improvements Matt's. Uh, but we also out. have to talk about the other pouches on here. Too. Oh, do you want to just do that? Let's do that first. Let's talk about right. the other pouches on here. Eric, edit this out. Corey, good. All right, so on the other side from the cargo pouch, we have a Baofeng pouch. Ooh, they're illegal now. Um, we've, got a, we have we've got a tactical radio pouch. Two rows of Molly, and that was intended <laughs> for, um, or one column of, of Molly, I should say. That was intended for a tourniquet. Uh, but I, I put a pistol mag pouch on there that I use for my multi-tool, and I usually just put my tourniquet up here. I, I kind of just have um, it there. Yeah. It's okay. That's right. interesting. It's all right, man. It's okay, okay to be wrong. wrong. Okay. Wow. <laughs> it's okay to be wrong. Um, all right, so we hit up those. Yeah. Um, dangler pouches fit. Matt makes the gut flap specifically for his products. Uh, it's his take on it, which Corey has right here yep. mounted to it. Um, like I said, they're just way versatile, which is why we love them. Um, the idea was that you could spend a decent chunk of change on a chest rig, nothing insane though, Yeah. and then be able to adapt that by purchasing or like having to make slight adjustments in the future. Yeah, um, yeah it's basically what same price as like a D3CR, but like more adaptability to it. Yeah, it's actually a little bit under. Wow. It's okay. like 150 for the standard. 140 on amp. Yeah, 139. For Ranger Green, Ranger Green yeah. multi cams 150. Oh. Ah. Yep. Wow. That's the more you know. Multi cams more expensive. We all know that. So yeah, they're just they're super adaptable. You can adjust it to anything. Um, like for instance, we have a game coming up in April, <coughs> so soon. Um, that's going to be uh, up here in Western New York. We're going all M81 with it, pretty much. Most of the gun gamers guys. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, perfect place for the GR. I was like, oh, but three on um, four mags, that's not what I need for that game. So I'm having Matt make me an entirely new panel in the next couple months. I'm going to throw that on, and this rig will be renewed perfectly for that game. Oh, so the AK is a 308? What are you using? Uh, I'm going to do M4, but I'm going to like do two double stacks, okay. and then just have a Velcro panel that I'm going to put one of my Kydex CO2 holders on oh, for right. my M7. So I oh, just. Okay. Rip out CO2. Yeah, that's super cool. Yeah. So, yeah. we're also in the works. Uh, uh, actually, Joe is in the works, and I, I was just helping him out a little bit with making a uh, machine gun panel to hold a box mag. Sweet. And Thanks, it's basically going to be two uh, like s cargo pouches like this that are going to open from the side so you can get to it while you're prone. And that's going to be awesome. And uh, this rig also integrates with the uh, Mercury Bravo. And Mercury Charlie. And Mercury Charlie. If, uh, if you want to see some pictures of them with the Mercury Bravo, I know we don't have any with us tonight, mm -hmm. uh, look up Gun Gamers on Facebook. Eric's got a bunch of pictures that we just did, kind of his promo pictures. He threw his Mercury Bravo on one of these, and it looks awesome. It works really yeah. well. Or we could just get him to edit him into the video. Right he now. won't. He never does. I'm like, add a picture of this. He's like, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <clears throat> so the other thing I want to talk about was uh, kind of engage his unique style. How Matt, um, oh, you said bend up. But he's there. Right. <laughs> the how uh, how Matt updates his products. Yeah. So. With your bigger companies, they're gonna have like Gen 1, Gen 2 as they make updates. Matt's working out of his base makes small business. Yeah, I understand it. Kydex is the same way I build to order. So what he's been doing is as he gets feedback from customers, he makes little improvements here and there. Um, yeah. So mine is the most prototyped of any on this table because I got, me and Corey got them together yep. and I've had no improvements done yet to mine. Mm -hmm. uh, it's going out next month to do it. Yeah. Corey's has been updated yep. a little. The what improvements were put on it? I all I had done was yep. I just had another set of Velcro up here, just so in case of just stepping go. this. Um, actually, this was the original one, and yep. then he added this one yep. so I could tighten it down a lot more. So if you don't have all the, if you don't have a ton of stuff in it, you can snug it up more because yep. this is as tight as mine goes, and it doesn't even fully cover so. Now he does a huge panel of Velcro. Yep. Um, see, the other big one that he's done, which yours hasn't gotten done to it yet, because mm -hmm. this is a newer thing, 
Uh, Chris just got his in. Yep. Here, if you want to hold yours up. So on mine, it's literally just a Velcro panel on the front. Yeah. Right? Same. So it's like this. So there's no nothing but the Velcro holding it on. Yeah. But the Velcro is super strong. It is super okay. strong. I've had no issue. Mine on the other hand's got on the back. It folds over the back to take some of the tension off yeah. the Velcro. So it pulls yeah. on snugs it down really nice. And it looks cleaner. It does look like much yeah. cleaner. It just it looks really nice with that. Yeah, so that's starting to get put on uh, pretty much any newer ones you're starting to make yeah. now, which is really nice. Uh, also, things he's added, which none of us at this table have because we suck, but I'm getting them. Um, I'm going to be getting a kangaroo pouch in here. We're working together on coming up with, between Engage and Gun Gamers Custom Works, having a built-in kangaroo insert for mags. And Joey. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. <laughs> Love it. Uh, and then we're also... I'm setting it up so I can put um, pistols, pistol holsters in there. Um, so he's got that. He, like I said, you can make all the different panels. Mm -hmm. So it just can make some constantly oh, update these. And it's insane. he's got a chest panel for it too, which I forgot about that. Um, a chest panel. Oh yeah, yeah. Which yeah. it basically on the old ones. I don't know how it's going to work on this one because of the fold over. But the old one for like the first gens. Um, it would go in between the panel and the rig itself, okay. and then it would Velcro with two little pieces up here. So then you basically oh. turn this into the That's RRV Gar RRV. Yeah. Um, and basically all More it is... Letters. More letters. So many letters, it's ridiculous. That, so that's why that's there. Yes. Yep. Oh, I, th I just put patches on there. Cool. Oh, well, that, or that. <laughs> He's been doing ones that have like a loop that go through your pieces of yep. uh, loop up there. You two haven't played with them yet, right? No, I've played with them. Oh, you have. Yeah, I used yep. Saratov. Okay, then let's uh, let's let's build up through. So let's go with your initial impressions on just having it. Like you, so Chris just got his. Just game. got it. I used it once for a skirmish game where it didn't even have the codex inserts in. It was just kind of <laughs> flopping around. Um, but I was really looking forward to the reason I, I wanted to get this is because I, you know, you have different chest rigs for every single loadout for every single mm -hmm. platform, and I was tired of paying for all that stuff. So yeah. I wanted to get one thing that I could then just switch out the center panel to adapt the other rigs so and grab the AK. So if I want to run Russian, I can just slap this on there and I got a whole new rig that works mm -hmm. perfectly. If I down the road I decide to run a different platform, all I need to do is just change this, not the entire chest rig. So yeah. that's what I'm looking forward to, simplicity of it and, and all that. But I mm -hmm. not have gotten out to play with it yet. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. So, so I've used this at probably four or five skirmishes as well as a uh, uh, Spearhead Saratov, which is an MSW event we went to in September. And I've had nothing but good experiences so far. Um, I've used it in like three different platforms for AK, uh, Scar Heavy, and my uh, M4 pouches, which I currently have on it. Um, I mean, it's, it's a really good fitting um, chest rig. I mean, you can, I mean, there's all different sizes of people at this table, <laughs> so it can be adapted to pretty much anyone. Um, I've had nothing but good good luck with it so far, and uh, I'm going to continue to use it in the future. Right. Um, let's see. I've used mine probably half a dozen times, maybe eight times. Um, it's been working out pretty well for me. Uh, the only things that I've had some issue with is when loading larger mag, uh, loading chunkier AR mags. And uh, my with my inserts because mine were the first gen of inserts, so they're garbage because I did garbage work. Um, it pulls away from the Velcro a little on the back, mm -hmm. but the new way he's doing it with the flip over top already negates that, yep. so it's not even an issue. Um, I mean, they take a beating. He uses good material. I, mean, I don't know how well you can see from the camera, but compared to brand new, yeah. uh, mine's all getting frayed and shit. Yeah. But I beat the living shit out of this thing. Um, so I've, had, look better. I've already been able to use it a ton of times, um, I've had no issue, I'm trying to think if I, I don't know too much, I don't really think I have any downsides to it, honestly, yep. and I mean, granted, I helped design it, so I should like it, but, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I like how it's set up, I like how it works. Hey, anyway, uh, I should bring up at this point that, uh, I mean, even though it's called the Gun Gamers Dapp Award, we are receiving zero dollars from the sale of this through AMP and through uh, Matt's store himself. Not to mention the fact that we all paid full price for this. Mm -hmm. 
Um, it, it, we all believe in the project. It's a phenomenal chess ring. And I mean, I mean, I have really nothing bad to say about it. Corey? Uh, you've used yours more than anyone, I think. I've used this is your child. This is your I've, I've <laughs> used it a lot. Um, at least 15 times. Um, I wish I would have ran it at Milson West. I mean, there, I used, uh, I got the Tasmanian Tiger Mark II chest rig, and that's a great chest rig. And I would, I would put this up, um, I would put this up there with that. Um, but the Mark II chest rig had buckles that broke on me. Yeah. So, and that's a, that chest rig was way more expensive than this one. Um, the, the one issue that I felt originally when I got it was the harness system was, for me, it just felt a little bit like I couldn't adjust it properly. But the more I used it, the more I just got used to it. Like usually I, I wear a chest rig kind of high, so I really tighten it down. Um, it's a little bit harder to do it with this style of harness. But I honestly think that this is still the best harness out there because- so you're, you're, Do you want to show off the harness a little bit? Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, it's more comfortable than any harness that I've ever used. Um, I, I just wasn't used to how low it was, uh, but I think that's just because I have a, a short tor torso. Um, so yeah, because yeah. I wear it pretty high myself. Yeah, and I have yeah. no issue adjusting it high. But yeah. Corey's short and he's extra stout. stout. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He already made the. Um, he already talked about um, the the cargo pouch and and the panel coming off a little bit. Um, but I've never had a panel fall off and I've never had a magazine fall out. And I've never had any issues uh, loading or uh, like re-indexing mags or pulling them out with the Kydex inserts from Gun Gamers Custom Works. And I use the, I pretty much use the PTS EPMs exclusively. Um, I'm really happy with this rig, for sure. Yeah, I mean, um, I've had nothing but good experiences with it. Um, it's pretty great. Yeah, I can't wait for the next one. Yeah. I'm getting another one. Yeah, because I'm only <laughs> getting the second G guard. Couldn't even uh, design a new vest. Yeah. I have so many <laughs> chest rigs. I, I, I'm a chest rig. Uh, I'm just obsessed with them. Yeah. Are you getting a different? Like, I'm getting, a, multi, I'm getting okay. a multi cam one that I'm going to use for NATO. Oh, that's for, actually something good to bring up. The fact that this comes in pretty much any camo that you could want. It'd be hot in no, Desert let's, Tiger Strike. Let's ruin Matt's life. You can get this in anything. <laughs> anything I made you want. I made him make me a, a different two. chest rig in bright yellow. Yeah, like school school yellow. Yeah. You can get it in any. I believe it's called short bus yellow. Wasn't no, it? no. So the actual rig was called the Bumblebee. Okay. Because it's yellow and black. Eric, please put a picture of that up. <laughs> you just have to. It's so good. And then... Uh, and then, yeah, the uh, gut flap you made for it was called the short mouse gut flap. <laughs> <laughs> so that was that is correct. Okay. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you can get these in anything. He can get his hands on most camos. Yeah. He's awesome. Cam. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's got, awesome. Cam. He's got a lot I'm of good for uh, us. Think he has. Pretty much, no matter how hipster you want to be, he can help you out. He'd, he'd probably do it in down. The, the only house. camo pattern that he struggled with was moss gray because that's like. Patented, yeah, or some crap. Well, yeah, that's, that's actually it's super hard to get. It's it's it, that's um that that falls into a certain similar category stuff like uh, like Cad Pat where they don't really release it to civilians. Yeah, same thing with like OCP. Like you don't really see genuine weird. OCP shit on right. right. Yeah, so weird. Yeah, but uh, that's okay. Like I was explaining to Matt the other night, uh, M eighty one is really all you need. Yeah. Because it was the greatest gift ever given to me. I mean, it's the greatest yeah. camo ever ran. And, and if you don't uh, like it, then go fuck yourself. <laughs> wow. Anyway. He's not yeah. opinionated in any way about these Getting things. back on topic, you guys should buy the G-Guard. You can get it currently from NDH Tactical Store on Facebook as well as Amped. Eric will put a link down in the description. Correct. If Correct. you have any personal opinions on this or if you have one, one of your own, there's a place for that. It's down in the comments section. Oh, and I will add, because that sounded like a total sales pitch, which it kind of was. But, uh... We absolutely value and want feedback yeah. yes. to us, or yes. more appropriately, straight to Engage Tactical. Yeah. If you get one and you have any issues or you have any changes you put in for it, tell him. Yeah. Say, hey, yeah. this is what I'd rather have, or any of that. And he absolutely listens to feedback. He's not one of those. I've, I've had gear manufacturers who like do custom come in and like, well, this is not how I do it. That's yeah. the right way. Yeah. Yours is stupid. With that being the said, idea is to make this, it this is a personal chest rig that we design mm -hmm. based on our needs, 
based off of our experiences. So you can get your own chest rig made, um, but someone might not like it as much as people like the G-Gar, because it's just so awesome. Yeah. It's beautiful. You might not like it, and that's okay, because everyone's entitled to opinions. If you, you don't like it, then fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I encourage people, if you, if you have your own little, like, not, that's me, if you have your own YouTube channels, <laughs> wow. Yeah, wow. This sounded really condescending. I'm sorry. Here. Nice. <laughs> you got your own yeah. shittier YouTube yeah. channel. We're pretty shitty. That's our bar. If you have your own YouTube channels or you do online reviews or anything, I encourage you, buy one. Do a review on it. We'd love to see it. Yeah. Um, we've got one guy already who's hit up Matt and myself to make basically this exact one with the inserts and everything. He's going to run it for a few months with real steel and airsoft. That's and awesome. Give us... A solid yeah. feedback, and we told him if it's shit, tell us it's shit. I know Kev has one, doesn't he? Yeah. Brand yeah. Kev, yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah, he's got one. I, I, I was in the military, and if I was in the military, this is the rig I would want. When I was in Iraq, I actually, I actually ordered this while I was in Iraq. Well, the main reason I ordered it is because I saw it. I'm like, oh, that looks cool, and I have money from deployment. Let's buy one. <laughs> but um, yeah, while well, I was overseas, I, I kind of wanted to. Actually, Matt even offered to ship it to a uh, an APO, and I'm thinking like, yeah, man, I would love to have this where I am right now. But I don't trust the postal service, and they're probably gonna fucking steal it. So yeah, I'll just send it home. Yeah. But yeah. Anyway, um, we're kind of rambling at this point. I, I actually have. Yeah, I have shot this with real steel. How's yeah. it work? Yeah, I've used the Ruger uh, ten thirty mags, the New York compliant ten round mags. How does it? Uh, and those are those are hex mags. Okay. Weight, weight not, wise, not how does it carry? Fine. Because with that, you've got real ammo and not you know light as hell well, plastic mags. And they're you know. only they're still only ten round mags. Okay. So if I have, I would still mags, think more than a plastic EPM for air yeah. Oh, also, if you, are, <laughs> if you are in the military and you are issued an IOTV or something of the sort, this is compatible with the TAP system on the IOTV. So if you don't like that stupid ass jock strap that you know you get issued, <laughs> feel free to pick up one of these. And have um, not to mention the fact that I have put this on my IOTV and I've been able to hold real mags fine. It, it works well. Yeah, <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah. All right. Um, I think we have everything. Do you have anything else? To add? Um, to be one hundred percent honest, no, not really. I think we've been hit more or less everything. I've been Lutz. Uh, I'm still Corey. Oh, <laughs> I'm, I'm Ian. Probably and I'm Chris. Have <laughs> good old guy. See you next time. Praise Judy. Praise Judy. Thank you for watching this video from Gun Gamers. We hope you enjoyed watching it as much as we enjoyed making it. Check the description below if you'd like to buy a t-shirt or a patch, and use the coupon code JUDY10 for 10% off of your next order at Amped Airsoft. Thank you again for watching, and praise Judy.